After one of the busiest years of his pontificate, Pope Francis will kick off 2020 with another intense schedule. Pope Francis is preparing an apostolic exhortation to explain the takeaways of the Amazon Synod. In March, he will make his fourth visit to Assisi. That's where he has called together great economists and young people from around the world for the Economy of Francesco Summit. The conference will be held from March 26 to 28. It will study the economy the Pope calls for in his world messages. On May 14, Pope Francis will participate in a world event in the Vatican with the goal of rebuilding the Global Educational Pact. It will seek to delve into the formation of young people, overcome divisions, and reflect upon caring for the planet. On May 17, Pope Francis will celebrate Mass for the 100th anniversary of the birth of John Paul II, the Pope who made him bishop and later cardinal. Although John Paul II was born on May 18, the Polish bishops moved the celebration to Sunday to allow more people to attend. The Pope's trips will also be a surprise. He wants to go where no other Pope has been, like Iraq and Montenegro. The most anticipated destination, however, is South Sudan, where Pope Francis might go in March with the primate of the Anglican Church. In addition, he is looking into possible trips to Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and East Timor. Looking for the perfect Christmas gift? Your search is over! Wish your family and friends a Merry Christmas all the way from Rome with Rome Reports Premium. This app gives you exclusive access to all events, art, and culture inside the Vatican, including sneak peeks into the Pope's life and much more. If you want to be informed this holiday season, this is the perfect gift. Gift someone with Rome Reports Premium and celebrate this holiday season by exploring the Vatican Unseen with exclusive content, new documentaries, and the latest videos. Go to www.romereports.tv or download the app on Android or iPhone and subscribe to the service today.